Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, Mitt Romney released his tax returns for last year. And they are a national disgrace. He did no work and made $56 million, on which he paid a tax rate not of the 15% that he said, but 13%. And he dismisses it by saying, that's what was legally required, so that's what I paid. As if the tax code came into existence by accident. What he doesn't mention is that his firm, Bain Capital, and others hired armies of lobbyists to make sure that he wasn't legally required to pay more. What he didn't mention is that the top 30 companies in the U.S spend more on lobbyists than they pay in taxes. This was not what the Founding Fathers had in mind when they put in the Constitution that all citizens had the right to petition their government. As a matter of fact, since corporations are not people and not citizens, they actually have no right to petition the government. I think we should demand that a law be passed banning corporate lobbying. But back to Mitt Romney. Evidently, it wasn't good enough for him that he received millions of dollars in generous tax breaks. He also has packed a lot of money into Swiss banks and the Cayman Islands in order to avoid ta paying taxes on it. And this man wants to be President of the United States. I think the President of the United States should be a patriot. A patriot doesn't shirk his responsibilities to the country. A patriot doesn't hide his money in Swiss banks and in the Cayman Islands. A patriot pays his fair share. I know some of you are saying, but Honest John, very few rich people pay their fair share. That's right. Very few of them do. So I guess that means that there are very few rich patriots. Thanks for listening.